Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Samah Nana Qadi Darvis and I'm reading this book, The Ideal Muslimah. This segment today is She Pays Zakat on Her Wealth. SubhanAllah, we know that the, the zakat itself is the third pillar of Islam and it's obligatory for every Muslim who meets the nisab, the um, threshold of wealth. Every year we have to pay 2.5% um, on our wealth. SubhanAllah. So um, there's no excuses when it comes to, to the salah, especially as Muslim women. We are, we have been blessed, alhamdulillah, that we are not the ones who bear the financial burdens of the family. It's not our responsibility. So when we are married, our husband is the one who has to provide for us and our, our children. When we're obviously daughters, our fathers are the ones who provide for us as well. I know that in the West it is common that Muslim women do work and financially contribute to the household but this is considered a sadaqa okay so it's not our financial responsibility what is our financial responsibility however is the zakat that we have on our own wealth so it's important that we understand the concept of the zakat and we pay it on time and regularly which is once a year so we should have a specified time which we know that when our zakat is due and have that personal responsibility to make sure that we actually pay it it's not something that we should be expecting our husbands or sons or fathers to actually do for us okay it's it's a, it's a financial responsibility personal responsibility on ourselves as muslims and it's the right of the poor subhanallah in this segment it mentions here that um the words of Abu Bakr radiallahu um, the first caliph, it says, he, concerning the apostates who withheld their zakah, he said, by Allah, I will fight whoever separates salah from zakah. And subhanAllah, we see in the Quran that um, salah and zakah are mentioned together over and over again in so many different ayahs. Those who establish regular prayer and regular charity, those who are steadfast in their prayer and practice regular charity, establish the prayers and regular charity. This is talking about the zakah, subhanAllah, all the time mentioned with the salah, it's, it's most commonly. SubhanAllah, so it's important that we take it very seriously because we know how high the status of the salah is being the second pillar of Islam. Now we have the zakah, which is the third pillar. It's extremely serious. And subhanAllah, point of benefit here as well, which is mentioned here, is that this, the, the salah and the zakah being mentioned together as part of our religion, the fact that this is established in Islam, it joins the the, the religious side or the um, spiritual side of our deen to the secular side as well because we know that obviously wealth is is, is a secular something it's connected to you know the, the financial day-to-day um, -day things and the needs of the people this is this is why the zakat is there in place it's to help alleviate um you know the affliction of poverty for example to help those who are in need this is the point of um, the, giving the zakat this is the point so we don't have um you know, uh, to purify our hearts and to cleanse our hearts from any kind of stinginess, you know, and holding and um, having a mind, the mindset of being like somebody who's holding and, you know, holding wealth. Our religion is a way of life. It's not just something that you practice at home. It's something which is integrated. It's part of the society. It's, it's our building block of the society itself, because without morals and standards and codes and laws, these laws that we have from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which are divine, the society will not flourish, the society will not benefit, subhanAllah. And another point of benefit for me personally that I've taken just from reading this segment is that the, the importance of Muslim women ourselves, that we have to have some kind of level of understanding and intelligence of numbers and understanding of money itself and how it works in order to be able to calculate our zakah every year and you know take that responsibility over it not just leaving it for somebody else this is this is something which is basic we have to we should have individually a basic understanding of this and how to do it and subhanallah you know it goes to show that it, muslim women we're not just there to do you know just the kind of old cooking and cleaning you know we have to have a level of intelligence and the more intelligence we do have even if we are at home um, which is obviously a benefit to our families but it's going to benefit our families more if you have more of an understanding and intelligence of just these basic kind of things to do with our religion so this is why it's important to understand our religion but subhanallah as the um, 
the, the religious and the secular are joined with the Salah and the Zakat also. This points to showing the, in, the importance of having this knowledge of you know, some of the worldly matters at least because it's, a pra it's something that's practical. Alhamdulillah for everything. I hope you benefited. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.